uh, will start the parasitism last class we saw competition so now we'll see the parasitism we know parasitism one is getting benefited other is not at all getting any benefit that is the concept behind parasitism it normally between interspecific interaction between two organisms not within the organisms here where one of the species is parasites depends on the other species so where this organism is living that will call it as host okay host and why they are depending on host it is for shelter also it is for food also and a host gets harmed and parasites gets benefited here one is getting benefited other is not at all getting any benefit and it is also affected also it gets benefited the host gets harmed and parasites get benefited in what way host gets ben uh, harmed means because um, parasite it used to suck everything from the host only so that is all those energy ready made food was sucked by the parasites means that is a problem for host so here host gets harmed and parasites are host specific and parasites and its host tend to coevolve and here you want to remember we can't tell all cascuta that is a parasitic plant will live in uh, all plants it is a host specific it will live in a particular plants only so we'll call it as it is a host specific and here evolution will be in parasites also in host also mm -hmm. even uh, every year on year parasites tend to develop some uh, characteristic uh, how to get more food from the parasite uh, host animal even host also will develop how to escape from the parasite so both also co evolve uh, during a century so co evolve okay it means that it, if the host evolves a special mechanism to reject okay to reject or resist the parasites the parasite has to evolve mechanism to neutralize them okay so it will be interesting so they both also co-evolve and next when we'll see the parasite adaptations okay parasites what are the parasite adaptations parasites tends to co-evolve that we know it may lose of sense organs okay it may it, it may loss of sense organs also a presence of suckers and hooks alone will be there um, to suck and hooks and it don't have any sense organs because it is it is present inside the other body it may be parasites also two types endoparasites ectoparasites endo means within the body ecto means outside the body but both also used to suck nutrition from the host and loss of digestive system they don't have their own digestive system that's the thing i told it used to suck the ready made food and they'll have the mechanism to use as such say so they don't have any sense organ they don't have any digestive system and it has high reproductive capacity if though other um, mechanism was uh, not well developed but here reproductive mechanism alone will be well developed and this and it will help to uh, increase its own populations and next we'll see the i think you are clear what is parasitism it is only interspecific and what is host what is parasite and parasites will get benefited host won't and both they will evolve together that will call it as co evolve what are the adaptation of parasites that we'll saw and some here is the some examples it was given some parasites have complex life cycle generally have one or two intermediate host normally will not tell okay the, for example if a tap worm is present in your body means because the directly it won't be in your body it will be in some other animal after eating that animal it will get into your body so to complete its life cycle the some parasites need two host for example tap worm will be in pig so when we have the pig meat automatically we'll also have the tap worm so in our body so the tap worm need two host like pig and human being to complete its life cycle so that's the thing we are telling intermediate host so here intermediate hosts act as a vectors vector means carrier which facilitate parasitization of host human liver fluke that is the thing i was given example has two intermediate host uh, liver fluke a liver fluke here uh, snail and a fish uh, snail and a fish or snail or fish and human and malarial parasite is your plasmodium and uh, it we are telling it is spreading from mosquito so mosquito to human being so mosquito also one host human being is also one host so this is the example we can able to understand 
okay and here uh, you can able to see um, clearly so this is a human being human being they started to release the liver fluke and the liver fluke uh, egg will be in the water because the sewage no the, sorry the fecal matter uh, uh, of human being possesses the egg of the liver fluke and this uh, sewage water the fecal matter was mixed with the water or mixed with the soil it was taken by the snail okay and the egg was now will be now egg will be in the snail and the snail started to produce its um, small secondary stages of liver fluke and again it was released as a waste uh, from the snail into the water or near to the water area and again it was eaten by the fish now the fish is, fish possess the secondary stage of liver fluke and when we are eating a fish okay if it is not properly boiled or if it is not properly clean means automatically the uh, part uh, of liver fluke will be reach the human being again so in that when it is reach the human being only it will attains the reproductive maturity and afterwards only it will leave the eggs so the cycle will continue from human being egg snail from snail to some larval stage and it again was eaten by the fish fish was eaten by the man and the for to complete its life cycle they need so many intermediate host okay and we'll also get all those organism they are getting harmed by the uh, parasites only and here is the case a mosquito okay so this mosquito okay this mosquito is only anaphylaxis mosquito parasites sucked up and it used to suck in the soil or uh, other areas and here uh, oocytes developing in gut wall normally in the guts they are intestinal part the oocytes of the um, your plasmodium will started to develop and the sporozoites developed next stage is sporozoites also developed in the oocytes and sporozoites migrates to the salivary glands of the mosquito and this mosquito if it is sucked blood if, if it is going to suck blood in the human beings though it is present no it is not present in any digestive part it is present in the salivary glands so normally it easily it will penetrate to the human being and it was uh, while sucking the blood it was introduced into the blood of the human being now the blood of the human being possess the sporocyted sporocytes of the plasmodium and it is in one stage and it is it will be in the blood so it is it will be in the red blood cells and and there only we can see the gametogenesis gametogenesis and this gametogenesis is a well developed form of the plasmodium so the sporogen uh, so oocytes sporocytes will be in the mosquito gametogenesis will be in the human being red blood cells and here is the red blood cells of the or here we will call it as blood of human being so it is sucking the cycle will continue between a uh, mosquito and the human being so uh, so we will call plasmodium malarial fever it need two hosts to complete its life cycle clear children next uh, we'll move on to the uh, this ectoparasites i already told ectoparasites and endoparasites when it is present outside the body will called as ectoparasites when it is present inside will called as endoparasites the human lice and ticks or ectoparasites so normally it will be in our outside the body of head and um, lice will be in our um, head also and sometimes ticks will be in our body of other organs other area also and copepods are the ectoparasites of some marine fish that we learned in 11th standard so copepods it will be in the Uh, outer layer of some marine fish and cascute is a parasitic plant uh, that grows on trees or uh, shrubs normally the cascute won't have any root or leaf children the stem itself will, it will be in some yellowish green color because um, here the purpose of uh, photosynthesis is also lost it won't produce any food so there won't be any leaf it used to suck food from the stem of other plant so here there is no role for leaf so leaf is absent in cascuta and second root is also absent what is the purpose of root it should absorb water so here absorption of water uh, water will take place from the host plant even so this is the cascuta this is the cascuta plant 
and this cascuta has uh, only the body structure used to suck hostoria to suck the nutrition from the host and it gets its nutrition from the host plants by hostoria okay what is hostoria a straw like structure used to suck ready made food from the host here there is no role for leaf and also other organism this is the copepod structure this is the copepod structure which will copepods will be on the fish show for other organisms it is ectoparasites i think you are clear about the ectoparasites and uh, what we saw this liver fluke and uh, uh, tapworm this and all endoparasites okay this and all endoparasites so that's all about the parasitism parasitism always interspecific and what are the characteristic of parasitism we saw and also and also uh, parasitism in plants also parasitism seems in animals also and to complete its life cycle they need a two host or three host and next class we'll see the uh, next part okay